Roll the bumper. What's up everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great, great day. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create your own Instagram story templates in Adobe Spark. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start from scratch here from the very beginning and show you how to create a template for something that you use for your Instagram stories like uh, this or that type of kind of promotion. So let's go ahead and click on the blue plus sign and we're going to start with Instagram story because that's where we're going to be creating for. Since I'm creating from scratch, I'm not going to use a template here. So let's start first with background color, go with one of my brand colors here. And then I'm going to go to design assets. If you haven't checked this out, I definitely recommend that you do. There are over 20,000 different design assets in here from clip art type things, images, PNGs, backgrounds, so many different ones you can choose from. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's maybe try, I don't know, maybe this overlay here. I'm going to click on overlay. This kind of adds an overlay, a kind of a screen look to your page here. And there are different ones, nature, distress, grunge. Maybe that's what I'll go with a distressed type of grunge look. And let's see here. Let's try that one there. FYI, if you see those little yellow badges there on some of those design assets, those are ones that are premium. So you do have to have the premium subscription to check those out, but there are other ones that are not. I'm going to take this design asset and actually maybe bring it down here. Let's adjust that size. Maybe I'll do this about right there. Maybe make it smaller. And what I'll do is actually, I may go and grab another one. Let's go with, again, textures. And let's see here. Let's try these halftone ones. And maybe drop that onto the page as well. Cool. Now, that one actually looks pretty neat. I may just, let's see. That looks pretty cool there. Just kind of making a creative look here. So this is again, this is my this or that template. Now what I'll do is add some text and I'm going to say this or that. And again, this is one that I'm creating so I can use for, from now on. And maybe add it right about there. Don't like that font, so I may choose a different font. If you have a brand font, I highly recommend you use that. Kind of want to stand your brand out, make it stand out. So let's see, uh, let's try maybe local brewery. Here, this or that. Maybe put that right up there. Maybe make it larger. Close that there. And let's see, let's try the alignment. Let's see what it'll look like, this or that. That looks pretty cool, but it's sometimes a little bit hard to read. Let's try this or that. That's cool. Let's do this or that. And then let's see. Let's go and add a shape. Let's try a let's try a lines. Let's try that right there. And let's see here. Let's drop that maybe right about there. Maybe a little bit larger. And then because that's kind of a color I don't want. Something else that was close to mine. Maybe this black right here. That looks cool. And maybe fade this out a bit. Yeah. All these different elements. And I'm going to move that to the back. Let's see. And then maybe I'm actually, I may not keep that there. I'm going to actually throw that out and keep this. And actually, I may change that to some thin lines. Let's see. Yeah, I think those lines will work better. Let's throw this out. Let's bring this in. Yeah, I like that better. And the color, let's see here. Let's go with that. Yeah. Try that. I'm looking at that, I may fade that out a little more. Right there. Okay, so I've kind of got something kind of set up there. On second thought, I'm not liking that font. 
So one of the cool things about this is if you don't like what you see, you could always go and change it. Let's try this right here. This or that. Nope. Still not feeling that. And you know, one of the things about this is you can spend a ton of time coming up with the font. Here we go. Let's try it. This or that. Babies. Babies. Babies Nua. Bebas Nua. That's that font. All right. Now, I need to put something like uh, to signify what this this or that maybe like a series or what this one's about so let's go ahead and actually let's try let's move this a little bit this way and i'm going to add a square actually rectangle and let's drop that in here cool with that Maybe put that line right there. And actually, I may change that, these two to match. Make this one white instead. There we go. Close, kind of where I want it to be. All right, now, what I'll do here is add a text in that box. Let's say I'm doing a series of this or that, like, you know, maybe it's a um, text series or, you know, food. Let's say this or that, this is a food series. And again, this is going to serve as my template. And one of the things I like doing when I'm creating content like this is choose a different font so it's not exactly the same as my main font just to add a little bit of a design aspect to it. Let's try that. And this is needs to be maybe white so we can see that. This or that, this is food. This is going to serve as my main design for my this or that series. Now what I'll do is click on projects because I wanna head out so I can view this is I wanna convert this into a template. The next thing I'll do is hover over that project, click on those three dots and choose make a template. And then here I'll name the project this or that. Actually, I'm naming the template. And then down here at the bottom, you can save this to a library so you can organize these templates. So what I'll do here is click on this plus sign here and create a new library. I'll call this IG this or that and then click save template now the template is created as you can see here this or that was saved to this or that library well let's go ahead and now head on over to the libraries and there it is this or that and if i click on that library it will open it up and show me what I have inside, which is this one template. And now what I'll do is click on preview so I can see this template and then says here, create from this template, use this template for your project. I click create. So it'll create a duplicate of that template and not actually affect any design in the original one. So this right here, so I've got this one as food. So now what I'll do is go here to photo and then let's go find a free photo and let's say hamburger. I don't see how those look like hamburgers, but hey, there we go. We got, uh, let's see, hamburger right there. Let's bring that in. And let's say hot dog. And let's add that one. Now, I'll add these two pictures. Maybe make them a little bit smaller so they fit. And now, what I'll do is I will download this as a JPEG or PNG or jump on over to my phone and then open it up there. And then what I'll do is import this into Instagram and use one of those tools like voting, a poll, and say this or that, hot dog or hamburger. And then what I'll do next is I'll change this, replace it, choose a different food, because this is again is a this or that food series. I'll call this, uh, let's see, fries. There's, you should replace this one here. And then I'll click on the hamburger and choose replace for that one. And then go to onion rings, choose the image, replace that one. So now I have another 
design I can use, go to download and choose PNG or JPEG. And again, then import it into Instagram and use this. And again, this will stay intact. So now the next time I want to jump in here, so let's go to projects. And then what I can do is actually click here on the blue plus sign and then go from templates and then scroll down through my different libraries of templates. And let's say here, Instagram, this or that. I've got the preview again. I click on create and now I can change this from a food series to something else, maybe tech or maybe alter some of the colors here and just tweak the design a little bit where you can kind of create another set for your Instagram stories. Once you create this one Instagram story set in Adobe Spark, you could always go back, change the colors, tweak the text, and make additional story sets for your Instagram stories. Let me know what you thought about this video, or if you have any questions, please do drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others. Thanks again for stopping by, and as always, be good to one another. Peace, I'm out.